Well, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to the Bard's Tale 4. Let's go ahead and continue on where we left off. We've got another block puzzle, and we are just about at the castle. So, let's go ahead, enter in, figure out what this puzzle's about, with Lagod Zantas. And then we can go ahead and look at starting to defeat Lagazanta. So what we need to do is we need to get to the castle, and then we need to get through the castle's courtyard, and then we can get into the castle. So it's quite a it's quite a journey here. Let's see. This one can be pushed in. That's not going to solve anything. Wait. Can we actually solve this? How does this work? I'm thoroughly confused now. This doesn't seem even solvable. Do we, if we push this... Oh, I see. We have to push both. It's not a either or. It's a both. I'm going to push this up against this wall. And then this one, we'll have to just keep on pushing through. Oh, it looks like this goes that way. Let's push that one, push that one, and is that it? Are we on the other side yet? Or do we have to get past in there as well? Looks like we've got a walking path that goes... No, it doesn't go all the way around. It doesn't connect. It just leads us to a chest. 16.4, just about 16.5 thousand... Uh, what's the currency in this game? Yacht? That's it, right? I'm confusing it with the other with currencies currencies in the other games. I think what we do now is use this to reset them. And now we can see more of what's going on here. Get these out of the way. And then push this one in here. Ah, there we go. That was the uh, solution, huh? Although, not exactly sure how to get back out. Are we trapped in here now? That's actually a little concerning. I don't think I can get out. I think we're just entirely trapped in here. Well, that's unfortunate. Onward we must go. There's a gate key. And a chest. We can pull this lever. And then I assume the gate key that we're looking for is right over there. Oh, I see. Yeah, we don't need to go through there again. This is all opened up now. Okay, we're good. We're not trapped. We're fine. Let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, is this leading to anything? Oh, yeah, there's a path out here. All to the right. Field of honor. Are, are we ready? What? I'm going to look... Do we not go with the Blazing Star again? Let's go for it. Let's risk it. Time to fight some more of these guys. And we don't have our whip anymore, right? Just checking. Let's Ooh, get What's that? I don't think we have our whip anymore. Oh, yeah. There are so many things going on. So many things going on in the first little bit of combat there. 
All mm. right. Yeah, because I have all the minstrel effects that proc six times and all the troubadour effects, everyone's little starting dialogues. Lots going on there, huh? <sighs> I will bleed you! Okay, so we're going to be looking at uh, probably uh, spreading a bit of stun. Let's see what we can do here. Your command. We're going to want to kill Trudiment. We're going to want to take a drink here. Uh, Trout squeeze. Not the other one. Will be your last. Uh, we're going to want to sanctuary score. Uh, what's her name? Let's do something. Her. Uh, Gwen. Command me. We're going to want to sanctuary score Gwen. Tell me who to kill. We'll actually get um, her to sanctuary score herself currently. And then once that shield is broken, then we'll use Melody's shield to sanctuary score her again. Ready. So we're going to use another. We're going to use a storm of blades. And do we focus on any bleeding at all here? A good question. Do we go with the bleed? Here to serve. Do we go with Pasic Slash, or do we just use her own movement? Yeah. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. Go with Pasic Slash. It will crit, and it will refund. Ready to go. Uh, which will actually. Ready. This is why I wanted to use her shield later. Is because it does gain in strength. Yeah. She'll <laughs> use an eviscerating gash. She'll take another attack. On your word. And then we'll use a. Um, I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and use a passing slash again here. Nice, it crits again and refunds your opportunity. Pardon for the lawnmower outside the window. Uh, let's see. Yes, we'll go ahead and shield. Two more stacks of storm blades. Make them scream. Ready. Command me. I am also going to use Melody's movement Tell me to bring what to Una do. up front and center. We're going to use the song of compulsory cavorting again because it is quite effective. Ready for orders. Here. I was going to use Rhyme of Duo time as well, but... Command me. Oh, well. I was going to use it to reset the cooldown of Sanctuary score, so Melody will get a shield. Uh, I think we're going to be fine now, though. Really? On your ward. I mean... Technically, we've got the Archer to deal with, and that might be an issue. Uh, about that, let's use an Archer's Beat. That'll help us out a little bit. And let's put down a Falconine's Fury. Yeah? We'll use our change fate. Stun everybody. Desert me. Deal. There we go. Lots of stacks of fire. Lots of stacks of blue. Stuns. Lock James Fury stacks. We'll go ahead and use a channel one as well. And a spell song. Why not? Yes. Everyone's got yeah. something to channel on. Except for Merlin, who could use a deflect, but we don't have the opportunity for that. All is well. Let's see what we've got. Well, that wipes that entire board. The, uh, the archer did manage to get a shot through onto Fiona. He's fine, though. All is well. I'm just gonna go ahead. It's Merlin. He's foe trapper. Shove this guy over here. Whatever. Oh jeez, that was. Uh, that's all extremely, extremely dramatic. Oh wow, that's done too, huh? In that case, uh, maybe we've got time for a little bit of healing here. Ah, honestly, with part of this damage, we can just go ahead and 
I? No, you know what? We can just go ahead and heal everyone. Let's see. Melody first. Stop! You're doing a little bit of rough. Ready. And let's go ahead and just move Melody over here. Ready. We will use. Ready for orders. Our rhyme of duo times. Ready for orders. Like, we, we, we're not wasting spell points, right? Which is the nice part. Stronger. You like Ready. dancing? Let's do your something. Uh, because yeah, like we get spell points Watch every turn, out. and it doesn't really matter all that much. There we go. Everyone's got shields. Everyone's got spell points, except for. Shakespeare, who didn't actually even take any damage. Uh, what's the health of this guy now? 19 twice, huh? Oh yeah, we got Merlin with extra spell points as well. Falconine's Fury. There, finish it up. Just like that. Okay, good to go. Grab our loot and move on to the next thing. Uh, we'll consume that, thank you. Hopefully we'll find a hard save soon. Uh, doing this all over again is something that I don't really want to experience. Oh, and look at that. There's some XP over there. A nice shrine for us. And a barrel. Very nice rope bridges, too. Yeah. I remember when those kind of shrines used to give you, like, a quarter of a level? Those are the days. Now they don't feel quite as substantial. Uh, do we have any more fights in the immediate future? Probably one right across here, once we uh, open this up. I think this is just a... Oh, it's a... It's one of these gear puzzles. That's been a while, huh? Okay. Need to remember how to do a gear puzzle. Right, so that's not gonna work, huh? Ah, they all want to lock each other lock each other up. I see. So, in that case, I can just use this, use this gear to stop this one. It'll lock up there. But... Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, I think we've got another... One more fight up here. Or two? That looks like two separate fights. It is, look at that. One's an extraordinarily easy fight. What no? One is not. We have our torch available. Uh, I'm gonna go back here. There's a crate. Yes. Uh, we probably don't need more wood. I think we've got, like, uh, yeah, we've got probably 160 wood by now. Okay, so we want to fight, uh, the skeletons first, then the humans. Big fight up ahead here. More skeletons, huh? Victory. Oh, nice! Hickman's just right up in front. And the archers, too, managed to flip them. If I sing, will you stop crying? Okay. So. Let's go ahead and focus all our damage onto the necromancer. That's what we want to do. Command me. Ready. This is actually just a little bit weird of an enemy positioning. Because uh, I need to figure out where I want the warriors. 
and who they're going to be attacking. Ready but for if orders. we don't worry about that for now, let's just grab our Kale Sudaman and our Archer's Feet. Here. Here to and sell. let's just see what kind of damage we can do here. On your ward. Ready. Uh, yeah, it's 30 versus 48 damage, huh? Okay. Oh, that was, uh, not super lucky there. Uh, we missed two crits in a row. Yes. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's use a Rhyme of Duo Time. And let's get that Passing Slash going again here. Come on, crit. Nice. Good, we got the crit. Good. And then we'll move up, I think, here. Use a passing slash, maybe? I? I think I will. Do I use a song of compulsory cavorting on the Death Archer here? I think so. Ready for orders. Ha! This one. There we go. Orders. On your word. And I'll probably go after this other one next. Maybe. Hey, no, it will be fine here. Let's just go ahead and we could use a bow dropper. Yeah, let's use a bow dropper to move this guy over onto um, Una instead here. That's gonna be better. Sure. We'll use a Falcon's Fury. And we will kind of have to worry about this archer. Uh, we should be fine though. Grab our sanctuary scores. Spell song. Getting stronger. Uh, change fate to stun. Uh, if we can target this guy. Hey, we're having a hard time targeting him. Oh, there we go. Okay, so only this archer is gonna move now. Ready. Tell me what to do. You to say. Ready we'll to see go. if that's an issue or not. Ready. And may as well grab the channel one. Ready for uh, orders. for lyric of legends. Let's see, archer. What do you do? Rain of arrows. How predictable. You know what we're gonna do with that? About that? We're gonna move the Shakespeare. Move. And we're gonna go ahead and uh Yeah, you're going down. At your command. He's not only singing, he's singing and dancing. Unfortunately his vocal cords may have deteriorated a little bit. Okay. I guess I could have used Storm of Blades there to guarantee another crit. Like that. I? Then we'll use a, another Rhyme of Duo Time. Passing Slash. And it will crit. Nice. So, this crit is guaranteed. This one is not, so we'll use another Storm of Blades. We'll crit again. Sharp crits are amazing. Sword crits are amazing. I love sword crits. Oh, sorry about that, Shakespeare. I kind of, uh... Oh, right, no, I did move you out of the, uh, out of the area of effect. Don't worry, I remembered you. I just forgot that I remembered you. If that's any better. Uh, looks like our torch is still on cooldown, huh? 
can we get behind these people without actually attacking them and then just come back for them? That's possible. I'm pretty sure there's another fight up here, somewhere. Probably... Hey, where'd my sound go? Was that my headphones? One moment. Huh. Well, that, that that's odd. You know what that was? We are still getting game sound. But here, you get the windy game sound. And then right about this line here, it cuts out in volume. So we still have sound. That was just weird. So this is the big tricky block puzzle here. And then we've got a few more uh, people up there. Then if we wanted to, we can come back with another torch to come attack these other guys. Or, yeah, to go attack them. Uh, so this is just a, this is just a lot of things here. We've got this, uh, you can push things onto that, which, yep, it's a trap. Uh, kind of saw that coming. Uh, but what we really need to do is, this is a giant block right here. Or gi giant blocked area. We need to get onto that other side of the bridge. So, like we did in that other pu puzzle previously, of course, we can grab this chest. We can uh, use the stone members to approach this from the other side. We can't walk through here, right? No, we can't. So, we essentially want to uh, peel this up away if we can. If we can. Maybe. Not exactly sure how. Okay, I'll, I'll try that again. Let's figure it out. Oh, we can push this out. Does that help us? No idea. To be honest, no idea. Maybe. Yes, we can technically get through there again. But if we ever wanted to get back, now we're blocked. Which... Interesting. Alright, I guess we move on to the next fight then. Aw, uh, it's another green fight. At the two most important parts, they decided to put green fights. Look at that. What's up? There they are. I salute you. Good to the last drop. Oh, 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 I don't know why oh, this was so much easier oh, than the other ones. Oh, 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 everyone oh, but the singer. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same kind of thing. Word. Since they're centered so nicely for us, we'll just target onto this guy. We'll use our Chaos Rudiment. What is that ungodly rocket? We will use our um, Sanctuary score from Gwen on herself. Use all of the attacks right down the middle. Oh, well struck in the Yep, lots of damage. Ready for we can handle it though. Let's uh, go for a. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a passing slash. There we go. And our temple will activate. Ready to go. At your command. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use another passing slash. We can take the hits. We've got a bit of armor, and that helps. There we go. Forty-four constitution shield now. Do something. Another two stacks. Storm blades. Oh. You to serve. I forgot to take a drink there. Whoops. Cheers, friend. Tell me what to do. I drink blood. 
Yes, ma'am. Ready and for orders. I guess orders. I could have used a Wayland's watch as well. That would have helped a little bit. Here. <gasps> yes. I'll go ahead and use a rhyme of duo time as well. Mm. We'll get back mm. in there. I shall use the bigger part. Tell me who to kill. And let's use. We don't want to use an eviscerating gash Command yet. Me. That would kill us. Is now we can. No? <laughs> I forgot their voices go high pitched with this. Love it. Just wanted to make sure the mic is going through. I didn't see it bounce in there. Okay, so all is good. We're using Passing Slash here again. Uh, of course we do, of course. Oh, right, now they're doing very little damage to us. 14 stacks of on fire. We're doing fine here. We're doing fine. Tell me how you inspired. And their concentration. Uh, we can. Here. Uh, we can stun them, but they're not going to be stunned anymore, huh? Aye. Because of the bleed. Ready. Well, I think we've got a little. I think we're in a little bit of trouble At your here. Command. What should I do? Actually, we can just use another round or two of time. We don't need the skull points on uh, Fiona. And then we can just move uh, Melody up to the center again. Good. Uh, what happens if I stack these Sanctuary scores? Does it take the higher of the two? Does it give her the Sanctuary heal? That's interesting. It gives her the Sanctuary Heal, but it keeps the original Constitution value. That Ready. is interesting. Okay. Ready. I will go ahead in that case and just change fate. I guess I could have used that earlier. They are all shrunk, though, with multiple stacks of uh, sh shrink, so they're not going to be doing very much damage at all. Sure. And then we'll get an archer's beat, just in case some of their archers get through. Archers. All right. Here we go here. <laughs> yep, that's just going to damage yourself. You do not want to be strong with blades against my people. Stand aside. Uh, like I said, not a good idea. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. yeah, there we go. And just for the sake of it, they used Storm of Blades and added uh, not only 20 damage per attack, 20 plus damage, but also an additional stack of on fire. There we go. Wretched cacophony. Okay. 624 XP. Did I just skip that by clicking on it? The animation? If I did, then I really didn't need to wait the 5 to 15 minutes that it took to count all the XP from the hours of the uh, um, finishing the 100 floor dungeon. Uh, in, in, a in a previous gameplay. Okay, so there is... We got a little bit of a heal. We are going to be taking damage if we're attacking those guys with a counterattack. That's totally fine. Don't exactly have any ranged attacks, but we do have Sanctuary scores to protect ourselves from them. Oh, was I not standing properly on the thing? I wanted to get back here. There we go. And we do have our torch ability available now. Now we can go uh, get these other little guys. And we're finally... That's the door right there to get into the castle. That's a breath of fresh air, being able to uh, being able to enter there now. Is it only these two? Wow. Two 
it is it's just only YouTube. Ready for order. Order. So there was a song to set us right. How about a song to set us right? And the funny part is, will you stop crying? It is just only you guys, and you each got troubadour effect. Oh, that's funny. Our our very our second crit managed to refill all of our opportunity. We're not supposed to have the opportunity. That's that is just quite funny. Well, that didn't quite work, huh? Let's finish him off there, Kuna. Command me. Uh, how about you? Tell me what to do. Uh, let's just go ahead and use a round two of time. Mm. Passing slash. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're only supposed to have three opportunity because we used our torch ability. Yeah, apparently that didn't matter though. Command me. I. At your command. Please excuse me. How much damage is that fire gonna do? 56 damage? On your ward. Ready. Yes? Uh, what are the chances I can stun him? Ready to go! Stun your her. Ward. Uh. Eh? Probably yeah. not great. But I'll put an archer speed up. That should. Uh, that me? should stop the attacks, right? Ideally. Uh, oh yeah. Yep. Okay, and no melee attack. Okay, that's it. Easy, easy, easy. That is actually a very easy fight there. Uh, I love how low investment these fights are getting to. Any anything else over here? Any hidden herbs? Yeah, there we go. One of each of the herbs. Red, gold, and blue. Okay. Now we can uh, enter in to the side gate of the castle. Wow. And I think, like, all it took was a little bit of a hike here. <laughs> uh, just for frame of reference... Uh, this is how much we explored before starting the Blood of Kings quest. We got into here. Uh, this is the castle gate. We had to go through all of this squiggly, windy paths all through here, all the way to the end, and then we had to squiggle all the way back. That is quite the path. Okay. Uh, let's stand on here. The stone remembers. And now we can enter in to at least the outer gates. Into the courtyard, I suppose. Oh, look, it's a double door system. Just like we use in Conan. And it looks like we've got another fight up ahead. And they're easies too. Okay. What's with everyone being so easy, huh? We've actually had a lot of hard fights getting up to here. Now we just got these basic humans. Cheers, friends. Are we ready? Down the house. Let me sing your tears away. Let me sing our tears. This'll heal you. Let's have better sing something. Not sure what's going on. I drink blood. Lots of shouting outside. I yeah, was just in an apartment, so. Anyways. <laughs> Let's get the foe dropper. Let's push everyone in here. And then I think I'm gonna just put all my damage on this archer here. Here! Uh, that way we don't need to worry about the counterattacker. Ready for all Tell me who to kill! On your wound. Ready to go! You deserve. What happened? Here. That's assuming we even have uh, at your command. Um, 
chance, assuming we even have Let's enough ready for uh, health on this archer to actually do what we need here. Alright, let's just use uh, movement instead for now. There we go, 10 stacks of on fire, and that deals 140 damage. We're going to need a little bit more Command than that me. if we can. Ready for orders. Uh -huh. On your word. Um. I? Let's do something. Yeah, are we gonna do this? Yeah, ready. I don't think we can without killing here. Tell me who to kill. Dirty. Okay, we'll use her movement. Yeah. Then she'll get her storm blades. Nope. Google, I was not talking to you. Okay, uh, yeah, Storm of Blades. That'll be 14 stacks of bonfire for a total of 196 damage. And that is going to be just about enough. Yeah, that's going to be enough. These guys already have stacks of bonfire. Yep, we're good. Here to say Which means all we need to do, we'll use a Kale Serpent just because that's what we do. And let's go ahead That's and nice. spread those effects. Oh, and I forgot to spread everything else. Ready. Fine. Yep, I did. What? I did forget to spread That's everything happened. else. So now we've got two archers here, here. that are just going to be able to damage us. So in that case, I'll use Wayland's watch. Ready. That way. Uh -huh. They won't be doing any damage. Uh, the goal was to uh, stun everyone or spread the troubadour effect as well. But uh, we tried to maximize the amount of burn stacks. Oh, wow. Wait. Huh. That was weird. That fucked 50 damage. Er, that was odd. That was a weird order of calculations there. Not exactly sure what happened. Because that only did 3 damage to him. Or to his focus. And it fucked the. Like, it did 50 damage. His d d damage did 50 total. And it got reduced by the archer's beat. It didn't fully break his focus. And it got, yeah, and it got, like, reduced by the 50. That was just weird. Okay, so, uh, here we are. We now, okay, silver, Southern Bulwark, Ulstrom Woods, Wire, Wire Docks. We've now got five teleporting locations. And we are now in... The outer courtyard of the castle. There is the castle up there. And we'll still have to do a little bit of uh, running around for the rest of it. And it looks like we're not going to be able to move those at all. So we've got to get out this way. I think. Is this, is this a way in? Honestly, I forget what this is. Entirely blocked off is what that is. What about this, though? That's been a while since we've done one of these. So we've got the constellation of the sky with a waxing moon. Waxing moon in Fox. Uh, let me go grab that for you guys. That shouldn't be too long. There we go. Oh. And code wheel. And I'll reveal that to you. There we are. Code wheel. Let's make that a little bit skinnier. So we're looking for the constellation of sky. Yes, this one here. Uh, waxing moon in fox. And waxing moon in fox. That'll be 10 and 49. Okay then. Let's see where we got 10 and 49. In our trusty almanac, 10 will be Stag Swift Wine, 49 will be Bone Shards. 
Good thing I grabbed extras of all of those drinks. Let's see. No, Stag Swift Wine is the one I didn't get enough extras of. You kidding me? I think we'll need to go grab them. Uh, bone shards is the other thing, though, that we need to grab. That is a lot of foxes. Look at all those foxes. I forget what that thing gives us as well. And also, how do we... How do we move on? How do we get out of here? Maybe there's another way to get in. Like, breaking... Oh, there's a ladder there. That would help. Didn't see that ladder earlier. And let's, let's, let's see what this ghostie has to say. I can see the houses. We're there. We're almost... Hmm, what happened to him? Did he get shot or something? Like a shot to the throat, maybe? Okay, well, this is a moment because we've got this here. Uh, we are looking for... Which one? Stags with wine? Let me think. Selkie's Tears. We got there at uh, the Seal and Selkie here in Wire. Wrecker's Dram. Um, we got from... Better Karen, I think. Okay, silk er, for Stag Swift Wine, we're looking for uh, going to the quarry. Okay. So that will be over in Torfjol. It's been a while since we saw since we've seen grass. Oh, what a what a delightful sight. Green leaves, grass. Such vibrant, beautiful colors. Okay, a little bit less vi vibrant on my computer graphics. Maybe it's because uh, the light's not hitting them proper. Okay, so we're going to be looking for... Uh, what's it called again? Well, that bridge over there. To bring us to... The quarry. Which is their local tavern. Well, it's drinking hole of sorts. Okay. I hope this is where we get the Stag Swift wine. If not, then we have to go to Fertikern. I think I made the right call, though. Oh, hey, look, there's wolves. Hello, wolves. I don't think I've seen many wolves in this game, or at least not consciously, you know? Well, watch uh, Yes. Okay, we got it right. Stag Swift Wine. I'm gonna grab another two of them. Uh, Cause I like having one on me, just in case I come across something. Uh, like, of course, uh, the thing that we just came across. Uh, what is the quickest way? Do I just go across the bridge here again? It's probably fastest. Uh, to the standing stone. So now we're finally in the Castle Lang Skull's um, courtyard. Will be will we be able to get to the front gate by the time uh, the episode's over? We've got what ten minutes. Judging by my unreliable clock, clock because I once again did not set a timer. Um, the amount of times I've said that is um, probably far too many. <laughs> Let's see. Castle Langskull. We're finally here. And now we'll be able to open up that thing. So it was Stag Swift Wine and Bone Shards. Okay, let's remember that. I'm assuming we have plenty of Bone Shards. Where do I find those? Oh, right there. 58 of them. That'll do. We only need, to need one. What do we even get here? Uh, there we go. Bone shards. Steaks with wine. Ah! I, a bow. Which might not be usable by a bard.
Please tell me it is in here. Yeah, they've got to fix that. Oh no, we... Wow. So, our elven weapon got deleted. Um, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you guys downfall, uh, but apparently we need to reorganize some inventory here and sell some things. Uh, yeah, that's extraordinarily awkward. Uh, yeah, we don't get that bow. I might be able to look up what the, what the effect of the bow was for you, but yeah, for things like that, you can't uh, like, if you can't ha hold it in your inventory, you just don't get it. That is extremely rough. If that was something that we are looking for, right, like something that was, like, quite important to us, and, like, something that we needed in our build, that would have been devastating, and that would have been something that we had to uh, definitely rewind. Uh, but we've got so many items in our inventory, it is just time to sell, I think. Now, who do we sell to? Well, I expected to get to the castle, but looks like we're going to have to take a uh, short intermission to sell a few items. Well, maybe we should have head headed to Wire. I could probably find some good things in over in Wire. Or at least people with a bunch of gold. I'll head to the, uh, to the weapons merchant here first. He's usually, uh, fairly loaded. I don't even remember which... Which ladder is gonna be the right one, or the best one. Stay in the camp. It's a good question. Is this one goes... Um, up. The other one goes down to, Fi to Fiona's. Wow, it's also been a good while since we've been in Scarabray. Look at that. Head for you think they'll uh, buy some items here? They don't like us too much, but surely we can uh, buy them a couple things, right? Should we sell them some nice boots? Uh, I think we'll just sell them all of our junk for the most part. Uh, sorcerer slippers. I'll keep those the special shoes. Really, I should be tossing everything into a different inventory, but it is what it is. A lot of these things... And essentially, we're not going to be using anything that's not Mastercrafted. Um, yeah, just don't have to worry about it. I'll keep a couple in, uh, items on us. Uh, some things mastercrafted we either won't use, or we have uh, just uh, so many mastercrafted items of that type, then we probably don't need to hoard them, right? Because we're only actually going to be using one uh, mastercrafted bastard sword, and that's going to be on Melody. Did you hear? I uh, has got 1,200 gold here. Less than I hoped, but we obviously sold him a lot of items over here. Uh, you know what? Let's not do that yet. We'll sell him some other things. There you go. Berserker Battle Garb. Um, we'll keep this officer's mail. Yeah, we'll sell you some of these items. Longsword, longsword, 947, or 17, okay. Yep, getting rid of some. 7412. And... Is that it? Okay. Thanks. We'll leave him at 100 some. And we'll head over to the other merchant. I figured I'd spread them out a bit. Of course, they only have a certain amount of gold. Let's see. We can drain their gold. We won't be buying anything else from them. 
Uh, but yeah, we can drain their gold. 6, 3, 11. Not valuable to us. Pickaxes, we're not really going to be using it at all. Oh, I guess she already doesn't have very much money. Let's see, can we sell her anything? Uh, the shillelagh, I guess. Some other things I would like to keep, though. Uh, like, a loot. We've got shepherd's pipes. Have we not found, like, better shepherd's pipes yet? Uh, we can definitely get rid of this harp, though. Okay. We've cleared up enough room for now. We'll probably head over to Wire, or if we find another shop that we actually want to buy good stuff from. There's also, because, yeah, there's the Weaponsmith and Wire. Actually, I could have just went down here. Fiona's probably is a little bit closer. Uh, so, anyways, like, there is, for, like, good merchants and Wire, uh, of course, there's the Priestess, like, the orc, uh, Orcan Priestess. And uh, she's got, like, a bunch of sorcery stuff, so that's not something that we would want very much. Also, these are all empty. I don't know why they're marked not as empty. That kind of bugs me a little bit, but it is what it is. Uh, and then we've also got, of course, the weapons merchant, the smith there in wire. And she's got some good stuff, but I think we've bought all we want from her. And then there was also uh, that one guy who was the armor merchant there. So... Uh, we've got, we've got a couple things. Uh, a couple places where we could do some potential good selling. That's really unfortunate we ended, did not end up getting that item. A shame. Okay, so. Now we're back to the castle, and it's about time to start wrapping up. Maybe we'll head up this ladder and call it there. What will we find up the ladder? I don't know. Oh, I see. Is that all you do? You come up here and you push it from this side? That's interesting. I guess uh, we're ready to put into a cut. We made it to the castle courtyard. And there we are. Another fight to start off tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll put in a cut there. Thank you all for joining us. It's been a pleasure once again having you here. I'm glad I could be uh, making these videos again. Um, unfortunately, because I am in an apartment, my recording times are very limited to, uh, well, they're really just limited to whenever, like, weekdays, when people are away. Um, and, like, even, like, later at night I can't, because there's, like, uh, I'm in an apartment, and uh, there's noise curfews. But we'll be able to do plenty more once August comes around. I'm looking forward to that. Although we'll also have a lot of work going on then as well. So, anyways, uh, around this time... Uh, I'm probably going to be at camp, so I'm doing some pre-recordings until then. Sorry they weren't out sooner, but I wanted to thank you all for joining us and for sharing with the wait times for the series. I love this game, and I didn't want to put it off that long, but I'm glad we're back here. Thank you all for joining us. I hope to see you next time. Until then, everyone, farewell.